Hello, dear friends. I hope you can see me and hear me. Uh, first of all, thank you very much to join me today. Uh, it's an honor and pleasure for me. And today we will make a few experiments. Uh, first of all, uh, I will use not the reference photo for painting, reference video. You will see it on my table. It's just a loop it and it's a beautiful waves. I will do my best to make dynamic sketch from that. It's like, a, just imagine, we are exactly outside. It's like a vacation. I'm sitting on the ocean, see that waves, and we will try to paint it. Uh, during all the demo, uh, feel free to uh, ask me any questions. Just tape it in the chat uh, anytime. Uh, I have a technical support. My son Ilya helped me, and I will answer you. So feel free to stop me anytime. This is your time, by the way. So I'm doing this for you and let's go. Hello, British Columbia. So uh, welcome to join me. We have that uh, reference video this time. Uh, my travel set, that's because we exactly like pretend what we are outside. Uh, this is my main colors. Uh, we'll take uh, brushes and let's start. This is the quart of the imperial size paper. Sanders water fort, 300 grams. And um, I'm already prepared that. That means the paper dry on front and wet on the back. And I tape it on the perimeter. So I have to prepare that in advance because I need the time to make all my mixes and I don't want to see how my painting on the paper drying fast. And because the subject is a pretty simple, uh, I'm not sure what we have to do the sketch for that even by, by paint, so we can start to paint directly. Hello Argentina! Quebec, Saturn, welcome. I'm really happy to see you there. Germany, France. By the way, uh, you should know, uh, I'm going to France in two weeks to the uh, Rochemont Festival and it's a big pleasure and honor for me. So if someone will be there uh, near that place, welcome to join to the workshop, which I hold there. It will be four days. I'm not sure what we still have a, a spot, but if we have, welcome to join. Hello, India. Different countries, different time. I really appreciate what you join me. So you see, I always the, the waves moving here, it's a very interesting to pick up the moment what I want to, to put on my paper. That's cool game. It's exactly like I'm in reality. And by the way, uh, all that painting, mostly it's like a painting by the negative space. That's what we trying to do. To explain the light here, I have to pick up a lot of shadows. Just in that case, I have a chance to create exactly what I want. And by the way, uh, for my feeling, all the watercolor painting, it's a painting by the negative space. So we plan in that. And, uh, you know, because we are pretend today what we are outside, I do my best to make that painting fast. I don't want to take all your time for that. Because if I will be outside, uh, that will be the same situation. I will try to make it really, really fast. Hollywood, thank you for joining me. Italy. Portugal. You know, by the way, this is the photo from Portugal. So I'm painting your, your place and one of my favorite country, by the way. Puerto Rico, welcome to join. 
England. Thank you. Switzerland. Welcome. So you see what I'm doing? I, I'm put the some pigments, and because the back side of the paper wet, I have a time to mix all of them, so it's not rush. I, I can play with my pigments as long as I want. Hello, Russia. Yes, the front side of the paper is dry. That's why I can use the dry brush technique, but the back side completely wet. So I prepare my paper like uh, 20 minutes in advance. That's why I have a time to, to play with that. Okay, about the colors, sure, absolutely. Uh, first of all, uh, this is the Daniel Smith paint, and uh, that's the sets exactly what the Daniel Smith produced for me. I'm using the colors from here, and that's my travel palette. You see that three big guys? Uh, this is a Queen of Creton Sienna, a Pure and Violet, and Indigo. That's my main colors, what I'm using always, a lot. Plus, uh, for this mixing, I use just a little bit of tile blue, cobalt, and quinacridone deep gold. It's right here. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six uh, pigments for this painting. I'm not. I'm sure I don't need more for this job today. And I'm almost always use the same mixes. It's like, for my feeling, it's like a universe set. Uh, I can mix almost everything uh, using just that, guys. And by the way, because of the, uh, it's a really rich, interesting pigments. And that's why the mixes always look interesting too. It's not like a simple. And I like that. Okay. Hello Vlad, thank you for joining me. Я очень рад. Hello Belgium. By the way, as usual, you see we follow the uh, the main watercolor rules. We paint it from light to shadow and from top to bottom. That's why I'm starting from the most lighter part here. And for now I switch to the to the sky and slowly we're going down. I'm just dreaming, you know, to back to Portugal to see the beautiful waves and ocean again. It was an incredible experience. I see we have uh, 150 people right now. Thank you very much to join me. You know, it's uh, I'm really enjoy that tradition. Uh, it's like a third time uh, we spend the Monday morning together. For me, it's morning. I know it's a different country, it's a different time, but I really appreciate what you join me. So as you see, uh, it's a, a game with a negative space always. That's what I'm doing now. To create the uh, foam on the waves, the white foam, I have to care about the space around. That's what I'm doing now. Uh, 
uh, about the <laughs> about the colors for the for the ocean um, that's very simple um, we have a blue sky yeah the, the green colors here yes I understand first of all uh, on the video um, it's a little bit greenish sometimes I see that reflection but the more important uh, it's my decision I can rebuild the picture as I want if we have a blue sky here and we have a, a warm uh, waves like that and a little bit warm reflection on the sky too so if we mix that together we have a green so the color what I'm using here supports my balance uh, uh, the sky, it's the mix between cobalt and the phthalo blue color together. And going down, I add a little bit quinacridone sienna. Hello, Croatia. Okay, uh, about the uh, one uh, one layer or ma multi layer in painting, it's uh, uh, less about the colors. It's more about the style what you want and how fast you want to do that. Uh, because the colors you can keep uh, if you paint it by one layer or by a few layers, no matter. Uh, especially if you use the high quality paint and good quality paper, nothing happens if you make a multi layer in painting. More important. Uh, idea uh, why you're doing this so for instance for now I want to connect all my spots together just in the end I paint the rocks and create the ocean to make like a strong shapes but before that I want to keep it connected that's why I'm doing this in one layer Uh, oh, yeah, that's great question about the quinacridone colors. Uh, you know, uh, let's talk about the sienna, for instance, what I'm using here for my painting. The regular natural sienna, uh, that's the pigments made from the ground. And uh, the company is doing their best to keep it transparent, but it's impossible because itself the pigment is not transparent. And it never will be uh, that colorful like this one. That, this is a, a, a synthetic pigment, 100% transparent, one of the most transparent pigment what I saw in my life. And uh, uh, very colorful, I need just a little bit of them to create the very colorful mixes. So that's the idea of the quinacridone colors and that's why I like it. Uh, I'm mixing my colors mostly spontaneous and I don't want to think always, is it possible to use that color? how transparent that color and what will be in the end. But the quinacridone colors always create for me a very colorful and powerful mixes. So that's why I like it. That's the reason. Uh, yeah, good question about the uh, choose of the colors. Um, okay. First of all, you see that's the limited numbers of the colors what I'm using always. Uh, so I'm already make my job simple uh, because this is enough to, to mix almost everything what I need. Plus, for sure, before I start to paint, I decide which color I'm going to use and how I'm going to mix them, all of them. And uh, I'll do my best always to uh, make the painting using not more than six colors. Uh, you know, it's helped me to keep everything connected.
uh, okay uh, what moment I will try to paint uh, something like that close to this then we have a, a lot of foam here I like that I like how it's look like so that's what I'm trying to pick up Okay, we have a uh, 25 likes. Thank you very much for for everything what for your support and for the time what we spent together. I really like it, honestly. We couldn't travel right now, but I'm traveling by this, so I feel like in Portugal. And you watching me, we are together. That's great. I'm really enjoying that Monday demos. So we're going to paint more darker space. And my sky here almost dry. That's why uh, for now I can make the shape of the rocks there. By the way, uh, talking about the colors and uh, Queen of Cardone colors, you see that I don't have a brown color on my palette, but using the Queen Sienna and Indigo, I have a very nice transparent, great brown color, what I'm using now. Uh, the question about the transparent colors, it's a good question. Personally, uh, I never use it. <laughs> that simple answer. I don't like uh, not transparent pigments. Uh, all what I'm using always transparent. Uh, even the cobalt, uh, it couldn't be transparent 100% itself, but um, the Daniel Smith did uh, the best to make it uh, transparent as possible. And for me, it's important because for me, it's a watercolor. It's like a, a you know, vitrage. We have to see uh, the paper inside. Even if we're talking about the dark space, I want to see the paper. So uh, I know a lot of situations where we have to use the not transparent pigments, but I never doing that. I want to see my paper. I want to see the texture of the paper. But, as I say, I can imagine a lot of situations where we have to do that. It's always, you know, very personal choose. And, uh, by the way, another one interesting thing. Uh, my palette changed it in time. So like uh, two years ago, I used the uh, Ultramarine a lot. For now, I'm completely stopped to use that. And who knows what will be in the few years. Maybe I switch to the pack colors. Who knows? Um, that's, the, that's the art, you know, there is no rules. We're always uh, researching. We're looking for something new. We're making discovery and it's not interesting to stuck on something forever. So all what I can say for now, I prefer the transparent pigments. That will be honest answer. Hello, Mexico. And you know, it's like a magic. For now, it's look pretty flat and uh, a lot of empty stuff because we didn't make the shadow, not yet. Then we starting to paint the shadow. You will see how the picture going to change and look completely different.
<laughs> Hej alla tre! Mm, okay, how to choose the colors? It's a great question. You know, uh, uh, I have to make the long speech to explain the idea. Uh, special for, for that, on my website watercolonline.com, uh, we create a lesson about the colors. And on the second lesson, I explain the idea how I choose that. But uh, for the few words, I can tell you uh, my three main pigments what I'm using Queen Sienna, Pyrene Violet and Indigo it's a close to the primary colors you know it's like a yellow yes I know it's not yellow it's a something specific this the Pyrene Violet it's like red yes I know it's not real red but it's specific red and the Indigo is like a specific blue color so together uh, I make almost like a regular uh, mixes of with the primary colors but they are specific because uh, that's my choice and they always look rich because it's itself it's not simple and that's why so that's one of the main ideas i'm using something like a uh, primary colors but mine primary colors not regular primary colors and after that i add some pigments what i couldn't mix something very specific what i'm like Yeah, yes, and in the chat you will find the link to the to the lesson about the colors on the on the website. By the way, we have a, a discount 20% for all the lessons now because of the Father Day. So welcome to join. So that uh, area almost dry, so I can start to paint the shadows now. That's the time. And we're starting from the ocean. By the way, the question about the green colors, what I'm using here, if you look at the ocean there, you can see the green pigments as well. So I'm going to use that. And I don't want to use the green. Uh, it's more interesting to mix the green if I take the phthalo little bit Queen Sienna together. I have a very complicated, rich and nice green. It's not like a flat, simple stuff. Uh, it's something really cool. So we are starting to create the shape of the waves now, because before we just prepared that. Okay. In the chat you will find the uh, coupon code what you can use to, to take the discount on the on the for the lessons. And we still uh, have a uh, six days. It works. By the way, on the same website you will find uh, the courses about the waves and ocean. And we talk about how to make all use all the tricks to create the believable waves and what we have to do for that. <laughs> Thank you, Vladislav. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I couldn't see how it's look like, but I hundred percent trust you.
okay, about how to keep the uh, the colors colorful and the darker in the same moment. Uh, the secret is simple. Honestly, it's not the secret. I don't have a black here and I don't use the black colors. I just use less water or more water because everything what we're doing is just water game. So less water and you have a more darker pigments and more water is going to be lighter. So that's that simple. And uh, by the way, another one key, it's exactly Queen Acridon pigments, what I'm using, and the Pyrene Violet. All of them very colorful. That's why it's easy to keep the colorful mixes here. Uh, the idea why I paint this subject, uh, that's very simple. I miss uh, summer, ocean, Portugal, vacation, all the time that I'm traveling and can enjoy the, the real ocean. So for me, it's like a real travel. I back to my memories, I back to the great time what it was. So that's why, that's the reason. I believe we really can travel by art and that's what I'm doing now. Hello Poland, Jane Dobry. So now time to care about the dark rock here and I believe you will see how it's going to be changed all the picture just because of that dark rock it's like a huge negative space to explain the lights on the foam and again i don't use the black colors for that i use just the queen sienna and indigo that's the main things and sometimes i add something inside so that two guys create for me perfect dark and the warm color After that, I'm going to use washout to make some lights here. Not for now. And going to inside the, my foam, I'm starting to use more warm colors because it's going to be connected again together and more easy to create the washout touching after that. The washout, I mean that. You see, I just take off the pigments and the lights immediately come into the rocks. And that's look cool. Going down, less water and it's going to be darker. And to make the mist from the from the foam from the water, I just use washout again, just like that, and we create a very soft gradients inside. We have a 50 likes. Thank you very much for that. I'm really happy what you like that process, because I'm enjoying that very much. Um, I'm trying to combine the ingredients and the dry brush together.
Thank you, India. Thank you. So we almost done. I add a little bit some more darker touch in there. As I promised you today will be a very fast demo because just imagine if you will be outside and want to paint something like that. You can spend a few hours for this because the light is going to change. Uh, so we have to be fast. And that's why today we make something like imitation of the real painting process. We have almost 200 people online now, so that's great. Thank you for that. Portugal, thank you for joining me today. This is your country and your beautiful ocean. Okay, for, uh, for the people who missed the beginning uh, of the, the demo, First of all, uh, the demo will be recorded and you can watch that on the YouTube uh, after that anytime. So you can start from from beginning. And uh, talking about the question, uh, yes, I prepare uh, the my paper. I put the water on the back, but the front side was dry. That's why I use the dry brush technique here. Yes, true. Um, uh, on Portugal, I was there uh, the few times I'm painting outside uh, on the plein air and definitely uh, we have to be fast than we paint in that. Lights is going to change, the waves going to change. Uh, if you want to pick up the reality in the uh, and if you want to paint from real life, not from your imagination, because you're outside and it doesn't make sense. So you have to be fast. That's absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Yeah, I found that's very nice because, uh, you know, if it's a very uh, movement object, it's a life object. And if we just uh, take a picture of that, it never will be look like this. So I want to feel that. That's why uh, I want to paint from, from this. So for, for me, it's experiment as well. Normally, we're always painting from the photo or from reality, but then you paint in the waves from reality like that. It's again, uh, it's more from your imagination. You pick up the idea, but after that, you have to follow your plan. You couldn't say uh, stop, but if it's looped like that, it's a little bit more easily.
Thank you, Philip. Thank you very much. I will be in France in two weeks, I hope. Thank you for joining me today. And we almost done, as I promised it will be fast demo today. Just a little bit more touching on the rock to make the texture a little bit better. few more last touching In the chat you can find the link to the festival in France where it will be in two weeks, I hope. And it will be the workshop there and uh, the real demo. Uh, so if you can join me, that will be great. It's, the, it's a great festival, by the way. Okay, uh, the good question about the uh, tonal study, uh, you know, I'm doing this, but not on the paper. I'm always doing this in my mind. So I'm trying to understand the subject and trying to decide how to keep the uh, right balance uh, on the picture before I start to paint. But uh, then I was a young student. Yeah, we preparing the sketch before. So now I'm not doing that. It's a more interesting challenge to make it in the mind. No, that's the uh, the uh, regular iPad. So this is the quarter of the imperial size. So uh, for my feeling, it's done. Uh, it's not necessary to add something here more. We just do the the last step as usual. <laughs> the question about about the colors here. No, this is the uh, this is just the Queen Sienna. I don't use the pure violet here, um, but uh, it's like a, from the phthalo to cobalt to the uh, Queen Sienna. That's why we don't have a green here, and that's so gradient. So we're done. Uh, thank you very much to join me today. And uh, by the way. Um, on the next week, it will be a um, workshop uh, online on Zoom. We still have a few spots. You will find all the information about this on the website watercolonline.com. Uh, it will be uh, around four hours together, and we paint the beautiful picture, beautiful photo. You will you can see that photo on the website as well. And we have a four hours to make the painting step by step talking together because uh, we, you know, it's limited uh, numbers of the participa participant and we can talk like that. And I'm really enjoying that workshops because 
we share the experience. It's always great pleasure. So thank you again very much for today. Uh, this video will be recorded and I use my camera so it will be much better quality compared to what we have on the YouTube. So in the few days, uh, maybe tomorrow you can find it on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your time to join me today. I'm really happy to see you like in virtual life and hope I can see you in two weeks because on the Monday, next, next Monday, we create another one live demo. So welcome to join me. Thank you again. Stay healthy and hope see you soon. Bye bye.